15 tips that'll help you in New World for new players and veterans. Want to be able to zoom your camera out further? All you need to do is go to Settings, Visuals, and turn up your vertical field of view. And this is going to allow you to zoom out further and see much more of the surrounding world. Water is incredibly useful and borderline overpowered in New World. You can stack it in your inventory up to 10,000. And as long as you equip it, it won't take up any weight in your inventory. You can use this water as a micro heal over time, in combat, in between hits, or just as a, a quick heal uh, when you need it. Now, uh, another thing you just saw there is fall damage. Fall damage is a percentage of your maximum health up to 50%. This means it is nearly impossible to die from fall damage even after multiple repeated large falls. It's kind of a joke. You know how you have to hold down the E button to harvest? Don't. Just tap E once and it will channel the entire harvest. You can view the contents of any bank you want to anywhere in the world. All you have to do is hit M, click on a settlement, and click My Storage, and that will show you what you have in that bank, regardless of where you are in the game. Sheathing your weapon at the end of your dodge animation will allow you to avoid the momentum stop that happens at the very tail end of your dodge. I personally recommend that you do this via sheathing and not weapon swapping. When you swap weapons, you may end up losing buffs that your weapon applies to you via other skills, but many of those buffs will persist despite you putting your weapon away. So I am a believer that sheathing is better than weapon switching. If you zero out your stamina bar entirely, you'll notice that you get a small movement speed decrease. This is only about 5 or 10%, but notice the little speed bump I get as soon as my stamina refills entirely and the bar turns yellow again. If you're a PvPer, I highly recommend you set your free look keybind to something you can very easily hit because being able to turn your camera 180 like this and see if people are chasing you is very useful uh, considering how powerful movement is and how uh, detrimental it is to physically turn your character around to see if somebody's chasing you. Do not accept town board and faction quests you know you're not going to do. This is a huge mistake I made leveling. I just go and grab all the town board quests regardless of if I was actually going to do them. You don't want to do that because if there's something unfavorable to you, it will get refreshed. For example, right there, the bait quest just got changed to green wood. Uh, so just don't take the stuff you know you're not going to do. And I actually recommend you routinely go and abandon the quests you know you're not going to do because sometimes it will immediately have another one ready to go. I'm not sure on the mechanic for that, but just don't take the ones you know you're not going to do. Stuns in New World are more like sleeps and will break on damage. This means if you have the 3 second shield bash talent and you immediately attack afterwards, you're not going to be getting much value out of that. However, knockdowns, flattens, roots, and all of these other status effects appear to persist through damage, but for whatever reason, stuns are sleeps in this game. I don't know why. If you want to be able to see your primary and secondary weapon cooldowns all the time, go to your gameplay settings and turn on Always Show Weapons. That way you'll be able to see both your weapon cooldowns regardless of if you have them sheathed, in combat, out of combat. I highly recommend you turn this setting on. You can discard the exact amount of items you need to not be encumbered. All you need to do is control left click on a stack of items and the game will automatically tell you how much weight you will lose if you drop those items. It's a very cool feature. Do you have a bunch of monsters chasing you and you are screwed? Best advice is to climb, climb, climb. Get on top of something and go prone. There is a very high chance that if you're in a dangerous situation like this, you'll have something that you can get on top of and glitch the mobs out to where they can't path to you. This is kind of MMO 101, but in this game, this is particularly easy. There's a lot of instances in this game where you need to run to the top of a tower, and you can just run all the way up to the top, climb up on something, the mobs will reset profit. So here we are at the trading post in first light, and I'm going to be looking at the price of Wordwood, which is 59 cents a log here. It's so expensive here because this resource isn't available in this zone. So what I'm going to do is click on my orders and look at the uh, Wordwood that I'm selling in Brightwood. I'm not in Brightwood, but I can cancel that auction in Brightwood, and it's going to put that item in my inventory here in first light. And now I can sell that item in first light for the first light prices at 59 cents a log. You can use the auction house to teleport items around the map. Now you do have to pay the listing fee. And if you make the items really cheap, there's a chance somebody can buy it. But even just that innocent example alone, where it's like, this isn't selling in Brightwood, let's try it here, is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. 